Welcome to my Connecting Networks lab review. Here we're doing with lab 4214, configuring static frame relay maps. All right, so I already have Packet Tracer open. It's been running for about a minute. Go through the objectives and scenarios. All right, so I'm gonna jump right into part one. It wants us to configure the frame relay uh, on R1. So R1, get to our CLI, get to our global configuration mode. We're going to be doing this off of serial interface. So int serial 000, zero, zero. end cap, prime relay. All right, there we go. We're going to do the same thing for R3 and R2. Config P, int serial. Zero zero one two three slashes in cap prime relay. Let's go ahead and make sure that they're turned on. No shut. All right, let's hop on R2. Let's do the same thing. Get to our CLI. Get to our global configuration mode. We want to go ahead and go to interface serial zero zero. We want an in cap. Frame relay, no shut, and there we are. So steps one, two are done. Let's go ahead and ping our laptop. Step three, so ping 192.168.30.1, sorry, 30.10, laptop is 30.10, no connection. Why? Well, because we're doing frame relay, just because we turn it on did not mean that we set up our mappings. So we actually have to do our mappings, whether it be a static map or a point-to-point -point connection, it has to be something. So moving on to part two, we're gonna go ahead and configure static frame relay maps and the LMI types. So what I wanna do is R1, we're still underneath serial interface 000, so frame relay map IP. We want to send things to this, to that DLCI number, broadcast. Because you'll notice we're on R1. This is the IP address of R2 serial interface. So basically it's saying map this IP, send to that DLCI number. We're gonna do the same thing for our next connection, 1.1.3. We're gonna send to 103, broadcast. And there we are, we're done with that part as well. The word broadcast is important because we're going to be using static frame re relay maps, use the DLCI 102 to communicate with R1 and R2, and DLCI 103 to communicate between R1 and R. Sorry, this one is for R2, this one is for R3. The routers must also support the IGRP multicasting. So because we're using multicasting using the IGRP, we have to make sure we include the word broadcast at the very end. We're going to use steps B and C to configure the rest of the other two. I'm going to do R3 just because it's kind of already there for me. So again, what we're going to do is frame relay map IP 10 1 1 1 1 1 0 3. 103 broadcast 1.1.2 1, 1, 1 is 302 bro broadcast I'm just kind of using this information right here to do it all right going to R2 frame relay map IP One, 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 going to 201, broadcast, 
1113 is going to 203 broadcast. And so we've done part two, step one. Lastly, we're going to do part two, step two, and we're going to be setting our LMI types to ANSI. How we do that is this guy right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. I'm going to paste it in each of the configs. And I'm going to give it a minute. All right, so we should be able to now ping the devices back and forth. So I'm expecting the first one to time out. And that's, that's normal. But the rest of them should pick back up. Go ahead and ping the web server 209.165.200.2. And again, the first one should time out as it's discovering the uh, MAC address. And you'll notice that the second, third, and fourth do not. All right, that's actually this lab in a nutshell. It's a pretty simple, pretty straightforward lab. The frame relay is a dying technology, so we actually have fewer and fewer labs here. So let's go ahead and check results. And you'll notice everything is checked, so we are good to go. If you have any questions or have any problems, please let me know. Thank you.